Okay, hi and welcome back to my Blender channel. Do you find cycles sometimes take too long to render, especially with interior scenes? Well, I have some helpful tips for you to try. Let's check it out. Number one, using GPU or graphic card. Maybe some of you guys already know this method, but changing the render method from CPU to GPU or hybrid GPU plus CPU is really increase the render speed. Moreover, if you have NVIDIA RTS card, you can consider using optics for even faster rendering. Keep in mind that there are some downside for optics rendering method. First is the lack of supporting nodes such as ambient occlusion and bevel node in the shader editor. If you have these nodes on any of your materials, optics won't render the scene. The second thing is the ideal type size for the optics is 512 by 512 pixels, while the GPU hybrid is from 16 by 16 to 64 by 64 pixels. Depends on what kind of hardware you are using and the details of your scenes. Here I'm using the same scenes for every method and I will compare the render time with and without applying the tip. This is my kitchen scene that I've made a time lapse video about. You can check it out in the top right corner. This one, I use the default setting of Blender with 2000 samples and take 9 minutes and 38 seconds to render. As you can see with the same GPU, the CUDA setting takes 9 minutes and 38 seconds to render while the Optics can reduce to 7 minutes and 28 seconds. Number 2. Is the sample scale too high? You want the perfect noiseless render? Great! Crank up the samples, maybe 1000? 2000 or even 3000 for some complex scenes. But hey, remember to fit the sample count with your scene's complexity. If the scene is simple, then just leave the sample count with 500 to 1000 samples and use some denoiser. In Blender 2.83, you can have the Optics denoiser, which is pretty good. It can denoise effectively without losing so much detail. Sometimes, the difference between 1000 and 2000 sample is not that much, but the render time can be far less. Another feature come with Blender 2.83 is Adaptive Sample, which can basically adapt the sample for each tile of your rendering. If the tile area is too simple, it will automatically reduce the sample to shorten the render time. I use this feature sometimes, but I haven't seen much difference though. If you try it, please let me know your experiences in the comment section down below. Number 3. Consider changing light paths. The default light path setting in Seco is good enough and can produce pretty good render images. But consider changing the light path setting may increase the render speed without losing much quality. Just as some simple scenes that don't have or have a few glass objects. You can change the light path to 2 or 3 to reduce the render time. In this case, I reduce it from 9 minutes 38 seconds to 7 minutes 13 seconds, which is more than 30% faster. Number 4. Is SDRI worth it? I have to admit, SDRI is so awesome. It can give the natural lighting and background for all scenes at the same time. But in interior scenes, where the background doesn't show up that much and sometimes overexposed. Is SDRI background worth it? In fact, the SDRI can consume more render time than just a solid color background. In my case, changing SDRI to solid color can speed up 10% of the render time and the result doesn't affect much. One more small tip about SDRI and background is trying to use portals in your render can reduce noise caused by the environment or SDRI but it will cost more render time as well. So if your scene is not that noisy, you can skip the portals. Instead, try to fill the scene with light as much as possible. Number 5. Upscaling Today, AI technology is growing so fast. The upscaling method maybe doesn't surprise many of people now. But do you know that AI can upscale your image without losing the details? That means you can render a small side image, then upscale it and save a lot of time. I'll show you how. First, you can go to imagelogic.com or any upscaling website, then create a free account. 
then just go and upload your image. The file must be lower than 5 MB and 1200 by 1200 pixels. Depends on what website you are using. Choose the upscaling scale and hit OK. Wait a few moments and then your image is ready to download. Pretty easy to do, right? This image I rendered in 2 minutes and 33 seconds and then upscale it. Now I have the higher resolution that could take 9 minutes and 38 seconds to render. That's almost 4 times faster. This method sometimes cannot produce a very clean image. It still has some artifacts that we don't want. We can fix that by increasing more samples for the low resolution image to give it more data to work with the upscaling AI. And that's all the tips that I want to share with you guys about speeding up interior rendering with cycles. And after I combine those methods, except the last one, I get the same resolution. Then I got this rendered image. Guess how long it takes? It 2 minutes 25 seconds, which is 4 times faster. Even with HDRI, I can make it with 2 minutes and 49 seconds, which is pretty fast. Okay, and that's it guys. Hope it's helped you speeding up your workflow in Blender. If you have any other method, please comment below to share with everyone. Thank you and please consider subscribing for more helpful videos in the future because I will see you in a few days. Yeah.